we're going to take a look at the graphs of logarithmic functions. And so remember, logarithmic functions are things like log base 2 of x uh, equals y. And um, what I'd like you to do is think back to where this comes from. This is saying 2 to what power would give me x. So let me uh, look at a quick graph of, of 2 to the x. So this would be um, 2 to the x. And what I want you to notice, what I should be able to do here is uh, think about the points that this goes through. This goes to this point, 0, 1, goes to this point, 1, 2, goes to this point, 2, 4, right? This is 2 to the x. Now, that means that log base 2 of x is its inverse, right? It's the thing that undoes it. So what I should be able to do are switch the x and the y values, switch the input and the outputs to be the graph of that. So this point that's at 0, 1, would be at 1, 0, which is about here. Uh, this point that's at 1, 2 should be at 2, 1. This point that's at 2, 4 should be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, like that. And if I could draw this decently, it'll look something like that. And that makes sense because I know that inverses, you know, reflect across that line y equals x. And so I've got my asymptote like here. Whoa. <laughs> so there's a decent sketch of that graph. Looks something like this. All right. So that's that's good to know. A couple things to note on this graph. Oop, it looks a little bit like this. Um, this point that's right here on this parent graph, this is the point one zero. And uh, another thing that I notice is this base of two. Uh, if I if I look back at this two one, this point base two. There's a point here that's at two one. Um, so let's let's mess with some bases a little bit and see uh, see what we can what we can discover. So I've got this log base two of x. Um, I'm going to get a log base 3 of x up here. Whoops, wrong way, underscore. Notice it still goes through the point 1, 0, but now 1, 2, th one, two 3, it goes through this point 3, 1. Interesting, and you would think then a log base 4 uh, might do something similar, still goes through the point 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it goes through 4, 1, which hopefully makes sense, log base 4 of 4 is one. So in general, uh, we can we can go back to here and we can talk about how like if this is a log instead of a log base two, let's call it a log base b, b for base. This point right here is going to be at b one. That gives us a good little bit of tools that we could use to sketch some of these. All right, um, think about that then. Let's start to mess with these a little bit. Uh, let's, let's keep this log base 4 of x. And let's think about what would happen in here if we um, added to something inside the function. And think back to your transformations. Maybe I'll make this a, a log base 3 just so it's stretched out a little bit, a little bit better. Still goes through that point 1, 0. Still goes through that point 3, 1. You know, and the next point would be 9, 2, right? Log base 3 of 9 is 2. Um, so let's add something in here. So let's add 2 in here. Notice what it did. It shifted it to the left 2. That's what we know about transformations. Transformations that go on inside the function will affect the x's, the x, y's. And they're a little counterintuitive, right? It shifts it left even though it says plus 2. So now that point's at negative 1, 0 instead of at 1, 0. And that point that would have been at 3, 1, is now what well, if it got shifted back to is at one one right this is the point that would have been over at three one um so we've got we can shift things left and right inside you know additionally if we multiply by a negative number on the inside it's going to affect the inputs it's going to negate all the inputs so notice what it does is it reflects it across the y-axis great 
And uh, let's do one more thing. Let's add subtract on the outside. How about if I add three on the outside? <laughs> add three on the outside. It just shifts it up three. So this point that was at one, one, uh, I'm sorry, one, zero is now at one, three. This point that was at three, one is now at three, four. Shifts it up three. If we could move, if we want to shift it down, we'd subtract, right? So things that go on outside the function, move it up and down. And if we negate it on the outside, we're just messing with the outputs. So it should reflect it this way. It will reflect it boop, like that. Still goes through one zero, but now it's been reflected across the X axis. So we've got all sorts of things we could do to this. So uh, make a prediction about something like this. Think about what happened. We had this point that was at one zero and then the whole curve that's attached to it, right? So add three, that's gonna shift it left three, one, two, three. Subtract five outside, that should move it down five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll have that shape that should goes through that point right there. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, sure does. And this point that was over at three, one has been shifted left three, down five as well. Uh, we could do things like, uh, you know, negate this as well. See, Let's see what it does, just flips it. Still goes through that point. Everything else gets flipped. Think about doing the flipping first and then doing the transformations left and right. So if I give you some things like this, you should be able to do some sketches from it and um, take a look at that homework and uh, give it a try. See what you think. Message me with any questions and uh, let me know how you're doing.